Okay, welcome back for Monday Nitro. Now we're going to kick things off with the West Hollywood Blondes making their second appearance uh, since I re-signed them. And they are going to beat the Filthy Animals, of course. Air Raid, who are feuding with the Filthy Animals, are going to have a say in that. Uh, then we're going to have a stable angle with the Evolution Revolution discussing um, their way forward from here after... Uh, their match against the Rat Pack um, on on Showdown, discussing what their next move is. Obviously, um, you've got uh, Luger, who's in a feud with the Road Warriors. You've got Nash, who's in a feud with Hogan. Uh, Sid, DDP and Rick Steiner are just sort of like the right-hand men at the minute. Norman Smiley's going to beat Hugh Morris. Uh, then we've got Mike Orson back on the mic with a little help from his manager, Stacey Keebler, who's very over and popular at the moment. Bit risky on Nitro having a hardcore title match, but I'm confident this will go down pretty well. We've got Bam Bam Bigelow, new hardcore champ. He's going to beat Sandman and Rick Steiner in a free way. Then we've got an angle with Nash and Hogan. Then we've got Jindrak and O'Hare beating for Road Warriors. Then we've got Lance Storm, who's very unhappy at the moment, but he's going to be cutting a promo on Kurt Hennig. Then we've got Jamie Noble keeping his Cruiserweight title in a free way after beating Liger and Candido. Then we've got an angle involving Goldberg and Jarrett, where Jarrett is going to no-sell Goldberg. And then in the main event, Sting is going to beat Scott Steiner. Good opener. Ray was sluggish. We knew that, but match quality 90%. Well, not a bad match quality rating for someone who was sluggish. Evolution Revolution, that went down well. They haven't appeared as much recently, and I'm sure that's why we've got a better rating this time. Uh, Hugh Morris, Norman Smiley, as you'd expect. Keebler and Awesome, she certainly added a new dimension to Mike Awesome's character. Um, which is very good. Not bad. Hardcore title. Sandman, Rick Steiner, Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam Bigelow, the new hardcore champ here. Kevin Nash, Hulk Hogan. That went very well. So Nash and Hogan are in the ring on opposite sides of a table, about to sign a contract to face each other in an upcoming match. Nash signs it. Hogan also signs it, but is immediately attacked by Nash, who drives the table into his ribs. Hogan's in trouble. Jackknife powerbomb. Nash walks off having won this battle. The first time I've uh, used this type of angle and it's gone down very well. So just as a little dimension to that feud, try and get a bit of heat back before it's about to end. Nash having the clear upper hand in that one. Dindrak O'Hare at Road Warriors, that went down very well. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. Very pleased with that. That went down well with Lance Storm, and hopefully that boosts his morale up a little bit, um, seeing the reaction to that. Another very good segment, Noble retaining his Cruiserweight Championship. Jeff Jarrett's in the ring, Goldberg comes out and attacks. Goldberg gets the upper hand, Jarrett's in trouble, Jackhammer, but Jeff gets straight back up. Now, you know, it could do a bit of damage to Goldberg's character, but... It got a very good rating, and Goldberg, he's not lost any overness from this, so it was a success. It was risky, but um, Goldberg has got the upper hand in that feud, but this sort of gets Jarrett a bit of heat back in that before their big showdown at Mayhem. And not a bad main event as far as the main events go. Sting gained overness, which he desperately needs. Um, and he, of course, Mike Awesome. Uh, comes in because he's feuding with Scott Steiner. You know, in his interview before, I was talking about Steiner, how he's going to beat him. And uh, he comes in and does that tonight. So a very good, respectable 76% there. No surprises for lowest rated segment was uh, the hardcore match, but it was still decent. Now let's see how it did in the rating. 6.44 for Raw. And there we are. We are back getting decent ratings 
So 5.07, we still want to be where Raw is, but it's going to take a while. Um, going head to head with Raw cost us a lot of viewers, of course. But, um, you know, we are heading in the right, di right direction, even though it's taking a while. So let's have a look. Unhappy workers, Lance Storm's the same, Nash has gone up slightly, I think Rome Zero has gone up, Goldberg's the same. Shannon Moore needs a new uh, gimmick. Let's see what we can give Shannon Moore. He's a dude. Could we turn him? He's very over at the minute. Let's turn Shannon Moore and have his new gimmick as an, an egomaniac, maybe. Let's see if that goes... Let's, let's do that. So on Thunder, Shannon Moore is going to turn. So that should do all right. Again, a quick look at the feuds. Let's ask Sophie. Nine, five to Goldberg in that one. Nash and Hogan in that one. Storm and Hennig. Not ready to be uh, finished. Air Raid, Filthy Animals, Totally Buff Road Warriors. And of course, Steiner and Mike Awesome. That's not got going that much. Although Mike Awesome's got a 4-2 lead in that one. So we're leading up nicely into pay-per-view. Uh, these feuds have been going on for a while. And, you know, could, could I uh, keep Nash and Hogan for... Mayhem? No, actually, I don't want to because it gets such a terrible rating every time they're involved. So I'm adamant that's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave that there. And, of course, we will be back very shortly for an episode of Thunder.